Is the Ignis Wraith viable after the ammo changes? Yes. For Steel Path? Yes. For Solo? Yes. Hello, today we are going to be looking over the Ignis Wraith Steel Path build. So if you didn't see my last video and you're wondering why I'm using all of these mods, check out the last video first really quick and as soon as you're done listening to the explanation, swap back to this video. Link is in the description for the explanation for all of these mods. Now the reason why you want to swap Prime Shred is because we're doing Steel Path and you want these things dead quicker. In order to conserve some ammo and still do tons of damage, we're also also going to be swapping out this for on precision headshot kill now the reason you would want to do that you can't get merciless built up as quickly you only need three kills with dead end you just got to make sure that, the, that you get three headshot kills in a row before you even get dead head built up you have the 30 percent headshot multiplier which is going to come in hand doing extra headshot damage is very useful because slash procs actually take the multiplier from the headshot multiplier into account so what you're going to want is the crit the slash procs the viral procs the extra status and the extra damage to grenier or corp or whatever you're going against is actually going to make a massive difference and the reason why is that this damage to Grenier is not the same thing as the other damage mods or the other damage scale the damage to Grenier is its own multiplier itself not only that it affects status procs differently than normal for some reason it gets taken into account twice so this 1.55 multiplier is actually going to get hit twice which will actually end up giving you a 2.4 times multiplier on your damage so yes, this is going to be definitely better than something like this because when you have this built up, you get 360% more damage. This built up, you're getting a total of 600% more damage with your procs. So you're going to be only adding 165, giving you 765 or multiplying by 2.4, giving you like 1400 or something. If you think about the damage like that, then you can clearly see why you would want the Bane mods. And the headshot multiplier is useful because of how easy it is to get headshots on the Ignis, you know you don't really you don't really have to try too hard obviously some enemies will be uh, better at avoiding the headshots than others also uh let's go over i'm gonna go over my build for my wukong really quickly because i'm not actually gonna be using the same build i'm gonna be using a slightly different build it's almost the same this build actually has less duration and instead of the molt it has gloom so this will slow down the enemies this makes it easier to kill enemies and aim for the head and it'll also give you back health when you kill the enemies which is very useful but we're still using arcane acceleration for that extra fire rate and i'm still going to be doing it solo to demonstrate without having any teammates helping me out so we're going to do just a fissure even though we don't have corrupted we have grenier damage this should be completely fine because the enemies are grenier so i'm not going to be using my clone this time at all so i don't need to we got one headshot kill that was not a headshot kill so as you can see if you just let them die from the, the proc damage it's not going to count as a precision headshot kill and that's why you actually need to keep shooting until they die from your headshot that will make it count as a precision headshot kill oh i am dying i need to just get in the middle so i can slow them all down and the thing about gloom is if people are at the edge of their range then they're not going to be getting slowed down so all well, these enemies weren't even getting slowed down plus the eximus unit um eximus units when they have overguard are not going to be affected by cc so whenever you see an eximus unit make sure you kill that overguard fast so that the crowd truck can actually do something so yeah we don't we we have our headshot multiplier built up but we got a lot of enemies here that don't that don't have like easy to hit heads but it doesn't really matter too much as you're gonna see everything's still gonna die and this is a fish mission so as soon as i get my reactant uh we'll see if we get ammo on our primary or not but so far we haven't needed any extra ammo at all so we definitely don't need to use to run ammo mutation or have ammo pads for the ignis wraith even on steel paths oh weapon has increased damage and unlimited ammo so now you'll see the true power of the ignis wraith on steel path fissures simply because of the buffs of unlimited ammo plus more damage oh man you're just gonna be killing even faster we're already killing fairly quickly oh i thought that was an enemy look at this one of the greatest parts about the ignis it's constantly applying heat procs and heat procs stun enemies not only does it stun enemies it strips off some of their armor with the, and how with warframe abilities work that strip armor you can strip armor very easily so just having the heat procs can strip the additional armor if you don't have full armor stripping uh, on your ability then you can like pass your ability one time and finish off the armor stripping with the heat proc. You could also mod for Kuros if you really want to strip armor but kind of unnecessary if you have any uh, abilities that can strip armor which currently I'm not using any. Oh, yeah, didn't I say I wasn't going to use my clone? 
What is my clone using? My clone is walking around mailing enemies with, with a Zaw that has Contagion on it. So he's got a slow Doctrum Zaw and he's walking around mailing enemies. So he's not really contributing. The Aigret has ammo, but he's not using it for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with that. I know why he likes melee. Alright, we gotta make sure we don't die. Use Gloom, slow him down. Uh, we have the Headshot Multiplier, but we also have uh, the Arcane Bonus. And yeah, easily wiped out violence. So as you can see, I'm so low. I'm doing uh, Steel Path Fissure, you know, and just no problem with the Acolyte whatsoever. Sure, I needed to like heal and stuff, but I mean, that's just Steel Path. That's not, it's not the, that's not the weapon's fault. That's just how the game, that's just how the Steel Path be sometimes, you know, you gotta take some time to crowd control, to heal, to watch your survivability, make sure you're not gonna die. Look at how fast it shreds these enemies. Like, just look at this. So fast, just so quickly. That was a corpus enemy, not even a grenade. He's corpus are just so weak, doesn't even matter. Corpus and infested that you're gonna be fighting on in the steel path fissures are not gonna be a problem. It's more so the grenade that are corrupted that might take a little bit long if they're Eximus units. Which, like, like, as you can see here, I'm just killing everything, no problem. With Gloom slowing them down, it makes headshots very easy. Subsume Gloom on any Warframe. Eximus unit, no problem at all. Just hop around a little bit to stay alive, no problem. Don't even gotta use my ability to heal or go invincible or anything. I'll just hop around a little bit to stay a little bit more tanky. And we'll be chilling. Hop around, roll into the fire so you don't take a drop. Dodge the electric circle so you don't lose any of your energy. Whoops, I lost some of my energy or shield or something. Who knows what I lost. Uh, Big energy. Are you leeching my energy, dude? How much did you get? 25? So yeah, my, my, well, my dude's walking around with the melee, just killing one enemy at a time very slowly. But hey, the enemies that are Eximus units, he's helping me out kill them, I guess. Yeah, I mean... Is the Ignis Wraith viable after the ammo changes? Yes. For Steel Path? Yes. For Solo? Yes. For Endless uh, level cap? If you have abilities, probably yes. So yeah, if you have Warframe abilities and a team, I don't see why not. I, I need to get a team and some... Yeah, I need to get some friends. If you guys want to be my friend, the Discord the link is in the description. You can join the Discord, add me as a friend in my Discord, message me on there, and play with Warframe with me sometime. Because I a lot of times I don't have people to play with. Hope you guys enjoyed the the build, the, the demonstration of the build and how it works and everything. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys think uh, I should change anything around on the build or if you recommend anything. Avenger is a good option if you don't feel like using acceleration, but having acceleration will give you so much heat procs and viral procs and slash procs, which is what is going to ultimately be killing the enemies is that built up procs. The proc damage is going to be hitting super hard. But yeah, that's everything. See you guys later. Goodbye, and I love you for making it to the end. You actually made it to the end. If you make it to the end, you always get to hear me say that. That's my special treat for people who watch the whole video.